I went down to LA for NBC's Biggest Loser, right? Because I, I wanted to get on the show, right? Right. I, I and, and I'm driving down there, and halfway to LA, they said, "Soup, we have a problem. Thousands of people are expected in line. NBC's Biggest Loser. You might be in line for 12 hours. You better wear comfortable shoes. You better bring a lounge chair. Put on some sunscreen." At the end of the email, they said, make sure you bring water and snacks. <laughs> you need to tell thousands of fat guys to bring snacks to the NBC's biggest loser audition. So I brought my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner, and I ate it by 8.05. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> But I had snacks and I was slinging them, but <laughs> once a drug addict, always a drug addict. That's right. He said, Soup, how come you weren't, you weren't like into crack and meth? You know, because you know, I was into the Vicodin, right? Oh, look, you're all playing dumb. You know you all took it, right? <laughs> they're, they're, they're all, how come you weren't into that? Because the crack and the meth, okay, uh, people use it for sex because I, I guess it makes you go all night, right? Is that true? <laughs> Okay, no, not for girls. This isn't your bit, but, uh... Wow! Where were you 14 years ago? I like that. But, but some guys, they can perform. You can perform all night on, on math and crack. You can perform all... I'm all, this is gonna be great. It's 1982, right? We took meth and crack, right? My guy, it shrunk. It shrunk like a woman's Virginia. No, no, no. It, it was, it was like, it, it was, it, it was, it was like a submarine. Auga, auga. Dog, dog, dog. No, no, it was horrible. And, and then I couldn't talk on it because I guess I have like ADD, so it made me calm. <laughs> You know, I'm all, and dude, I had this hot girl next to me, and she's like, are you okay? Dude, I could have been late. Oh, oh there you go. And, 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 Jesus Christ, that coffee at Starbucks was strong. And, uh, but I can quit when I want. But, but, thank you. One guy clapped. But, but, uh, thank you. The potheads will get the joke tomorrow. Oh! people will just want to hug the joke, you know. <laughs> that means Molly if you're young, but, uh... No, so it's 82, we're, we're on coke and crank, and, and, and we're, we're cranked up and we're talking about our dads. My dad's a lawyer. My dad's a doctor. My dad, in real life at the time, was a pilot. And he had a boat. And he had a Harley Davidson. And I, you know, you know, you know, when you're on the powder, you just start yakking. You guys know this. I don't need to tell you. But you're just yakking away, right? You're just going. And so we're talking away, and it's my turn to brag about my dad, right? I couldn't get the words out. <laughs> Boat. <laughs> I told you my guy was gone. He went, whoop, I, I, if you're a brother, I mean, it goes, whoop. But anyways, uh, 